Welcome to Motobor. I'm Tushar. And if you haven't guessed already, we're at the Kawasaki showroom in Pune, checking out what appears to be Kawasaki's best kept secret. This morning, I got a call about a new entrant on display. That is the Kawasaki W800 retro bike. Let's take a closer look. First things first, the W800 looks the business. If you want a classic bike that's up to date reasonably with modern equipment and power levels, then you should be looking at the Kawasaki W800. Everything that appears to be metal, appears to be, well, metal. It's a very retro, single round headlight. You've got those classic, slightly rubberized mounted indicators much like you had with Yamaha's of yore. That of course is plastic. There you go. That's the genuine item. Metal mudguard. Right side up forks. None of that upside down nonsense for us. That's a 300 mm floating disc. It doesn't appear to have a slotted disc for ABS. We're not sure right now. This is a show bike that's come into the showroom just to gather customer response. We have absolutely no specifications on hand from the showroom or the company. But what we do know is that the W800 runs a 360 firing order parallel to a 773cc engine. It is fuel injected. It uses a, a bevel gear drive shaft and it is an overhead cam. There's the uh, holy grail of 10 years ago, twin pipes ending in twin chrome exhausts. That should get you Royal Enfield boys sweating slightly. Very traditional metal swing arm. You've got your traditional twin shocks at the back. You've got a traditional grab handle. Oops, sorry about that. A very classic looking tail light cluster. It's quite a bit like my old RD350 actually, except for the trapezoidal tail lamp. That rear has a really nice profile to it. The uh, steel, again, steel mudguard stops just short of being too long. Gives it a nice sporty look. A little bit of space there between the mudguard and the wheel. The rear wheel, I believe, is a 130. And that looks like an 18. Let's see if we can take a closer look. Those are Dunlop Roadmaster tires. And yes, that's a 130-80-18. Running on what appear to be Alloy rims. Oh, that's a pricey item. Yes, in keeping with the uh, classic nature of the motorcycle, that is a rare drum brake. Let's take a look at the front. Front tire appears to be a little bit larger, and yes, we're right. That is a 190 19 inch tire. Wire wheels on alloy rims. The handlebar is a fairly short one, much like uh, older bullets. These mirrors, while they are chrome, I'm not sure if they're metal. They sound a little plasticky. Seem to be of a decent size. Let's see what that looks like from the riding position. All right, so we've got twin clocks, we've got a taco, we've got a speedo and I think we've got a multifunction display on the left there and the key is where you would expect it to be. Nice touch there. Yes, it is nice grippy rubber. So you're not going to need your tank pads for you knee draggers, although I don't know why you'd be dragging knees with this. That's a very elaborate looking 
badge it's 3d it's like 25 percent of the tank surface area but uh, pinstriping looks very neat um, that ivory color and that metal flake blue i'm not sure if you can see it in this video but looks very nice indeed very retro it's a uh, twin down tube frame that's probably hiding some uh, emissions related gadgetry we should need it in india but uh, there it is a traditional flat seat oh bouncy yeah that should keep your spouse slash partner reasonably happy so unlike some other motorcycles we could mention this will be reasonably practical in and around the city there's the kawasaki 800 logo on the side panel and the side panel is metal that much like the triumph bonneville is uh, an area that looks like a carburetor should be there but uh, this is in fact a uh, fuel injected motorcycle before you ask we have absolutely no idea when this is coming or what it's going to cost this motorcycle exists in the showroom for the purposes of customer feedback as you can see it's got a velvet rope cordoning it off we think it looks really good uh, in the uk where i imagine people are more inclined to buy classic motorcycles that cost a bit of money this costs about seven lakh rupees now assuming kawasaki can assemble this here or bring it down from thailand where they manufacture many of their motorcycles we think they could if they tried hit a six and a half to seven lakh rupee price bracket if it's a cbu a fully imported unit that's another matter altogether this is tushar signing off